Hello guys, Rage Agent here with uh, a Battlefield 4 update for you guys. This is the first one I've ever done. And it's basically, I'm ever going over the vehicles and weapons that have currently been confirmed for Battlefield 4. Alright, let's get a list. Okay, for assault rifles, we have the AEK-971, the standard Russian issued assault rifle. Well, the one we all know and love in DM3. And the C, then we have the CZ-805, the M16, the M416, the QBZ-95. And then moving on to carbines, we have the AK-5C, the M4A1, the CZ-3A1, and the P90 are both personal defense weapons. Moving on to light machine guns, we have the M249, the QJY88, the Ultimax 100 MK5. Moving on to sniper rifles, we have the M39 EBR, the QBU88, the RFB, the Scout Elite, and the SB98. And then going on to shotguns, we have the Hawk 12G, the M26 Mass, the Sega 12K, and the Survey Super Shotgun. Little oh, shorty. You guys will know this uh, shotgun from the trailer. It's a super short one that kind of resembles the 870. And moving on to uh, handguns, we have the 93R, the G17, the M9, the MP412 Rex, and the QSZ92. Moving on to launchers, uh, both stingers and stuff like that, with the FIM92 Stinger, the M32, the M32, sorry. The M32MGL, the MBT Law, the RPG7V2, X, and the XM25. Moving on to the optics for our, for our guns, we have the iron sights, obviously, the ghost ring, the red dot sight, the holographic sight, both are one time scope, the PKS, one time scope, the M145 3.4X, the P, uh, PKA 3.4 times, the ACOG four times and the PSO one four times. We also obviously have the sniper scopes. Moving on to explosives, we have the AT mine, C4 explosive, which are now going to be with recon. Yes, recon. I can, I don't know how long I'm waiting for this as in Battlefield 3, you guys will know this recon is basically useless in any type of vehicles. Then we have the M34 incendiary grenades, basically makes a cloud of fire or something like that. To burn all your enemies inside, lock you down position, and making it so no one can go through that area, or well, they burn to death, obviously. Then we have the M67 grenade, and the M84 flashbang, which, if you guys don't know what it is, it basically blocks your field of view, you are, all you see is white. Then, uh, moving on to gadgets, the support has the ammo box and the ammo pack. The ammo box is basically what you throw in the forward to supply your entire team, and the ammo pack is what you put on yourself and, uh, teammates. So that they replenish ammo like only for only one person. Same, the first aid is like the ammo pack, except with medic, and the medic bag is like the ammo box. Then we have the repair tool and the M9 at uh, M9 knife as a as a knife, and then we have the shank, which is like an improvised knifing tool, a kind of like a screwdriver in my opinion. That's uh, apparently good for uh, more fast, repeated close combat. Moving on to the vehicles of Alpha 4, we select our armor vehicles with the VDD buggy, the MRAP, the ZFB05, and then moving on to infantry fighting vehicles, we have the LAV 25 and the Amtrak, which is basically Big Bertha, is how I like to call it, because he basically runs into everywhere and shoots with his grenade launcher and takes the 18 RPGs to take down. Then goes on to the main battle tanks, we have the M1 Abrams and the Titan 99 MBT. And I'm expecting the T90 to return as the basic standard Russian tank. For helicopters, we have the UH-1Y Venom and the Z9 Dewey. We have the Z10W, basically the Russian light um, light helicopter. The M MI-28 Havoc and the AH-1Z Sniper. Move on to fixed-wing aircraft. We have the gunship or AC-130 that a commander can call in at any time, and the J-20. Chinese aircraft, which seems interesting because it looks pretty badass. Then on the naval naval craft, we have the rip boat, the RCB, the DV-50 interceptor, and PWC. Okay, finally, I'm just gonna go over the tools that the commander has in Battlefield 4. Okay, we have the EMP, the EMP UAV, the scan UAV, 
Tomahawk missiles, C-130 gunship, infantry scan, vehicle stand, and for support, you have five high value targets, uh, high value targets, sorry about that guys, supply drop, and vehicle drop. Okay, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, that, uh, I'll be keeping you guys posted on the, the Battlefield News, uh, Battlefield 3 News. I might go over the customization next, so we'll see how that goes, but I'll try to make these things uh, as frequent as possible. And, uh, well, I'll see you guys in the next, uh, update. See you guys.